What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle We are against Flame Master bringing in a really cool team So he has three fire types which is a little bit should be a little bit concerning for him um, And a couple of ground weaknesses. So Marowak is gonna put some work in today. Um, I Got a feeling he's not gonna start with um either either of the fire types or the steel type Maybe he's gonna start Porygon. So what I want to do is start off with Cinderace I'm running U-turn on the Cinderace here. So we might just go straight up U-turn and go from there but um, I mean if he starts with any of the other Pokemon I can just capitalize and go for something else, but I think Cinderace is gonna be the best bet for us here. So One of the things I also did for you guys if you guys ever want to Wi-Fi battle me uh, First and foremost make sure you grab my Instagram link in the description down below Give me a follow and shoot me a message and also um, If you guys ever do collect my lead card I actually have my Pokemon that I'm using for this battle and future battles in my party So if you collect my lead card You're actually gonna be able to see what Pokemon we use in the battle or I used in the battle at least so He starts with Colossal. I have no uh, I have no fear going for the low sweep here and see what happens here So I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna change the fighting type first and foremost and go for the low sweep does some damage. I will take that. Colossal is a pretty bulky Pokemon. And if he was trying to go for a Rock Polish or something like that, he's still not going to be faster than me. Stone Edge, we resist that since we're fighting. Awesome. Okay, I will take that all day. We're going to go for another low sweep here. So, really good start off to this uh, battle here. It's a little bit unfortunate that my opponent has like three fire types. So, he has weaknesses to rock types all across the board. Um, with the exception of uh, Falapel and uh, a couple other Pokemon, but he's gonna switch into Flame King, probably Charizard. Charizard, I knew it. Okay, so that's okay. I'm gonna go for a low sweep and slow this thing down just a little bit, and then uh, I should still be faster than him, even at a plus two. I kind of want to Dynamax here. We're just gonna use our Dynamax right off the bat. And should we um mm, uh, no i'm not gonna go for the i'm not gonna go for the uh dynamax yet i'm gonna go for slow bro and try to take an attack from this thing hopefully we can take something here so i'm gonna go slow bro if this is a physical charizard my opponent might be in a little bit of a bind dragon breath it's special it's interesting he's running dragon breath instead of dragon pulse so that's really interesting i'm honestly gonna call mine here given that he's a special attacker i'm gonna call mine i resist it um, I resist its fire typing at least And he also has a cinder race in the back. I think uh, if I remember correctly, but he also has uh, a Colossal of course and Slowbro is actually pretty good against his team right now Venusaur is gonna come out. I'm gonna call mine and hopefully Hopefully I'm able to take an attack from this Venusaur here. So call mine Get my special attack and my special defense up by one and I'm honestly gonna want to try to go for one more here. So we're gonna call mine again Before we hit him with the with an ice beam and this is why I'm running ice beam. All right giga drain We're plus. Oh, it does a lot of damage. That's not good um, We don't have leftovers and I actually highly considered running leftovers on this thing to be to be honest um, We're in trouble. We're in big trouble Okay, so I think my next best move is to slack off here Slack off Giga Drain, please don't knock me out. Please live this low, bro. Yeah, we're going down I didn't think we'd live but it was worth it uh, to me at least I know we played slow bro kind of uh, really bad right now, but it's okay um, I mean I'm running I uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Porygon Z here. We're choice specs So Ice Beam is gonna do some damage and so is try attack to be honest with you guys So I'm actually really tempted going for a try attack no, he has a cop Raja in the back. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ice beam here All right I'm gonna move last if he switches out. So, okay Analytic would have come into play, but it doesn't in this case here choice specs Porygon gets its first knockout I love choice specs Porygon to be honest Porygon Z at lap I'm just checking my phone because I'm waiting for somebody to come here and I'm trying to record a battle before I have to get going so Hopefully we get to finish a battle. Maybe we ha we'll have time for two battles. Hopefully I hope we have time for two battles. That would be awesome. What are you gonna do next flame king? I'm gonna put put your fire to that. Okay, so he's gonna go into the cinder race running the fire to uh, the fighting type attack It's a shame. I let slow bro go down too early um, Given he has a fighting type attack. I'm gonna go Marowak 
I'm gonna go Marowak here. Hopefully Marowak can do something. If he doesn't, it's not the end of the world, to be honest. So Marowak. Low kick. I, I thought he was gonna go low kick. All right. Okay, so next, he, he's not Libero. That's that's really interesting. I kind of want to go for a Rock Tomb, but Bo Boomerang is probably the move. If he goes Charizard, then he goes Charizard. All right, we resist this, my boy. We resist this. We should be able to take it. All right, we're taking that. Okay. I see you, Marowak. Boomerang should knock this thing out. Marowak gets the knockout. Wow. I was not expecting that, to be honest. I'm probably underestimating him, though. I'm underestimating my Marowak. If he goes into the Charizard, I feel probably outspeed me. Copper Jaw comes out. I probably outspeed this thing. I probably outspeed this thing. So I'm going to go for the Bone Ring. I'm going to go Bone Ring again. It's Stab. Unlike Alolan Marowak. Oh, he's Dynamaxing. Okay, this is interesting. I've never gone against a Gigantamax Copper Jaw in competitive battling. So I'm a little bit interested as to what this thing is going to do. I know he has Steel Spike to increase his defense, so I, I guess he can Steel Spike and, uh, and Max Knuckle here. But we'll see. Maybe I outspeed. Oh, right, I outspeed. That's a two-hit knockout. We land. Oh, we barely miss it. That's okay, though. I'm okay with that. Max Overgrowth. Max Overgrowth is fine. Marowak put in some work. <laughs> Marowak put in some work for it being NU or even PU he put in some work Good job Marowak come back You did a good job. All right, so He's gonna get some HP up and I think we go Cinderace. I think I think I think I think um Porygon wouldn't be bad either Tangerof would be pretty good. I'm gonna go Cinderace. I'm gonna go Cinderace here and it's time to see that Cinderace action. Let's see what this is about here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and Dynamax. Max Knuckle here. I outspeed no matter what. You can try to max guard all you want. It's not, it's not gonna do anything. All right, here we go. We're gonna Dynamax our Cinderace. I'm a little bit itchy on my leg. <laughs> not that you guys need to know that or anything, but we're gonna go ahead and, uh, Di and Gigantamax here. Pyro Ball Cinderace. This this is actually pretty cool. I've never seen this before. That cry is absolutely beautiful. Max Knuckles gonna knock this thing out. We're gonna turn into a fighting type. If Charizard wants to come in next turn, I'm honestly gonna gug shot. Or um not well not gug shot, but max ooze here. This copper jaw goes down. Copper jaw goes down. He didn't play the Gigantic Max um he didn't play his Gigantamax opportunity very well, to be honest. That's why I'm a little bit in between about using Copper Jaw. I am going to use him at one point, but I just don't know when. I don't know when. Oh my goodness, look at the detail to the flame. That is awesome. And Cinderace is just kind of like sitting up there like he's a Landorus or something. Okay, so Flappo comes out. I'm 100% comfortable. Oh, I got Max uh, Flutterby. Uh, Flutterby. At a plus one. I'm going to do it. And I'm stabbed. So we're going to do it. Max Flutterby. Flutterby. Flutterby? Did I say that right? I think I did. Okay. Knocks out the, the Flapple here. This is a Cinderace sweep. And we're going to have time for one more battle after this. Oh my goodness, boys. All right. Oh my goodness. I am in love with... I can't wait to use... Um, uh, Inteleon because we we've used Rillaboom. We didn't really get to see a whole lot of Rillaboom action at least Gigantamax So that's interesting and we got uh, an opportunity to go for one more max. This is a wrap my boys. We won This is a wrap max knuckle gonna knock out this colossal. We're libero. So we're we get stab automatically. Oh My good and then oh, did you see the ears? Did you see the ears that was fantastic? That's gonna be the thumbnail right there. The ears are gonna be the, the thumbnail. That was awesome. That was awesome. I just love. I didn't think I would love Cinderace as much as I am because I'm. I wasn't a big fan of this of the design, but looking at Cinderace in person like this, it's absolutely beautiful. Flame King, the Charizard comes out. Who's gonna go down to a Max Ooze here? 
Oh, that's our last uh, turn of Dynamax. So, he's gonna go down to a Gunshot then. Gunshot, okay. We're at a plus two, so this should knock out, assuming I hit. Assuming I hit. Gunshot, Libero, please hit. Please hit. Okay, good. I mean, if worst came to worst, I got the air across with the Stone Engine back, but still. Flame King the Charizard goes down, and that's a wrap. We're gonna do one more battle, so stay tuned. Flame King, or Flame Master? Flame Master, right? Yeah, Flame Master. Your lead card is actually not bad. I'm taking it. I'm gonna take it. And then we're gonna get searching for another battle here. Uh, we'll do two for this Friday's uh, episode. Take the lead card. And then uh, stay tuned stay tuned okay so we found another opponent here and right off the bat pokemon that scare me is going to be the mandibuzz the uh dragapult and the uh, uh toxapex there so that's a little bit scary to me personally i wonder how we're gonna have to handle the toxapex because i don't really have anything to handle it i assume he's gonna start the toxapex or, or even the heliolisk so i'm gonna start marowak if he starts with something other than those two, it's not the end of the world because Marowak, as we saw in the previous battle, hits absolutely hard. So, Marrow is our opponent, bringing a really intimidating team. And let's get this battle started, my boys. Your lead card's not bad. It can be better, in my opinion. You're kind of just there. Okay. All right, Marrow. May the best trainer win. This is going to be a really good battle. I have a really good feeling about this. Galar Champion Warlock. I knew it. Okay. I'm not afraid of this thing because I'm about to hit it with a Bone Meringue. I, I'm pretty sure I outspeed it. So we're going to go Bone Meringue. He probably thinks he outspeeds me, but he doesn't. If he brings in Mandibuzz, okay, we outspeed it. Knock it out. My boys, we are going to knock this thing out. Oh my goodness. Socks Apex isn't even a threat. That's not even a threat. If Mandibuzz comes out, um... We try to hit it with a double edge. I mean, we are rock rockhead, so that's gonna be that's gonna be the strongest move we got against it. But also, lock pin comes out. Who is this? Laponi. Okay, that's interesting. What are you running for me? What are you running for me? Um, double edge. I'm gonna rock to him here. Try to slow this thing down a little bit. Cosmic power. Interesting. Okay, that are you running sword power on this thing? I haven't seen a Laponi sent uh omega ruby alpha sapphire when it got the mega form okay i will take that i will absolutely take that so then next i'm gonna go ahead and hit this thing with the double edge double edge come on come on come on come on baton pass okay who are you going to that kind of scares me because if he goes into dragapult then i'm in trouble if he goes dragapult i'm in trouble well whatever comes in since it was baton pass it's gonna be minus one so we'll see i got a feeling it is the it, who's this okay so it, it's the uh that's not the that's not what i wanted to be honest it's not what i wanted that's some damage oh my goodness all right bone ring hopefully we can outspeed this thing even though it's at a minus one it's at a minus one exedrill's not the fastest pokemon in the world but so we're not either he goes earthquake we'll live it we're living Okay, there you go. There you go. That's an interesting way to use a lot bunny, to be honest. This thing gets... Marowak is putting some work in! Oh my goodness, I, ap I apologize for the voice cracks. I, I haven't drank water. I he rage quitted. We got time for another battle. All right, so we found another opponent. I've never had three Wi-Fi battles in one video before, so that's really exciting. My opponent's bringing, really interesting that he's bringing the Well Lord. Uh, Luxray's not uh, kind of concerning. All right, so looking at his team, who is he gonna start with? Um, this is a little bit less predictable to start with uh, as far as what my opponent's gonna start with. Um, that didn't make sense, but you, I think you guys know what I tried to say. So, uh, I mean, Heracross is nice to bring. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna start Heracross. If he brings in the Antalion first, it's not the end of the world. And same thing if he brings the Whale Lord. I'm really curious to see as far as what the Whale Lord is bringing. So TFJ is our next opponent, our third opponent in this video, and hopefully he doesn't rage quit. I like your lead card. I think I feel like Flame Master should have had that um, that emblem. I haven't looked at his lead card perfectly yet, so I I don't know yet. So all right, TFJ sends out Lucario. 
which is actually a pretty good start for us because we got the hair across we're choice scarfed i'm really comfortable going for a close combat here i'm 100 comfortable going close combat if he brings in charizard next turn i'm switching out of course but i'm 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 100 comfortable going for the close combat all right i show i'm choice scarfed so i have speed if this is okay this isn't focus ash heracross put in some more I've, i'm really proud of this team because it's better than i thought it would be it's better than I, than I thought it would be for sure i had a practice battle uh on the same day i recorded the team builder and i got molly Wop, so i wasn't really confident about this team and when i decided to record i'm like i was like hey if, if my team isn't the greatest then it is what it is it's trial and error he brings out the charger just like i thought he would i'm probably gonna try to hit me with the flamethrower so because of that i'm gonna go slow bro I'm gonna go slow bro here and maybe threaten it with the scald maybe maybe i don't know how i feel about it yet i mean we're regen regenerator flare blitz oh he's gonna get damaged by recoil and rocky helmet this is the perfect scenario you're gonna you're gonna get more damage than you did to me my boy okay do i want to go scald i kind of do i'm gonna go scald here whatever comes in has the opportunity to get burned so Luxray comes out. I hope this is a. Uh, I hope this isn't guts Luxray is the only thing. I really hope this isn't guts guts Luxray. Oh, it's intimidate. Okay. All right. So hopefully we do get a burn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. We're having really good luck today. We're having extremely good luck today. So because of that, I am going to go into Marowak here. Go into Marowak. Hit whatever comes in next with a Rock Tomb. Yeah. Hit it. Hit whatever comes in next with the Rock Tomb. And go from there so marowak bolt switch not happening my friend not happening we're we're playing like champs right now we are playing like champions don't rage quit okay okay good yeah i'm 100 comfortable going rock tomb here he's probably gonna hard switch here which i'm okay with because um yeah we're reading him like a book and talion comes out which is obviously still faster than me but this gives me the perfect opportunity to go into tango Grouth. wow that's some damage i'm still not gonna risk uh the fact that i outspeed uh i probably won't so i'm gonna go tango Grouth here you're probably gonna go for the water type attack if i were you i would go for the ice type attack if you are special a lot of people ru like running physical Italian for some reason i don't know why but we'll see hydro cannon why would you run hydro cannon why are you playing the way you're playing right now we got regenerator on this thing so we get a free turn right here i'm gonna get giga drain i'm gonna do giga drain right here must recharge hit him with the giga drain boom there you go awesome awesome and then uh with regenerator we'll be okay next turn we'll be back to full health just like slow bro this is awesome i love this team I love this team. I know on paper it's not the best, but so far the way it's performing, I'm really happy about it. All right, Charizard comes out again. And personally, me, I'm gonna go out to, into Slowbro every single time. Slowbro is my answer to this thing. All right, Slowbro, I'm back to full health. If you wanna hit me with the Flare Blitz, you're gonna get some damage. Yeah, why, why would you do that, my friend? Boom. All right, and then he's probably gonna switch into your Shifu, which is fine. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit it with the Scald, or should I try to... Mm, no, I'm gonna do this. Watch. Check this out. I'm gonna go hair across. I'm gonna go hair across. Come on. Switch it out. Oh, he's gonna stay in. Is he gonna hit me with another Flare Blitz? If he does, I'm in a little bit of, a, of trouble. Fire Pledge. Interesting. That does some damage to me. But, um, I'm free to go for a Stone Edge. All right, Stone Edge hits good. The charge is going down. No way you're living at Stone Edge. No way you're living at Stone Edge. This um, uh, Moxie comes into play, but it's probably not going to come into play if he goes into the Urshifu. If he goes into something else, then maybe. But I don't think I don't think it's going to matter. It's really cool that he has a water hat and we're in the water stadium. Okay, Whaler comes in next. All right, so I'm going to go for another Stone Edge here. We're at plus one. So uh, I got nothing to lose here. This thing's bulky as far as HP goes, but defense is not the best stat. 
We'll see. It's gonna live because of the HP book. Water spout. It's probably gonna knock. It's not knocking us out. That's a cool anim. That's a cool animation. I almost said an animation or something like that. Stone Edge. Hit at the time. There you go. I'm proud of Heracross. Heracross putting in work too. Heracross is also putting in some work. Moxie, we're at plus two now. So if you want to go with Shifu, my friends, you resist the rock typing. I'll outspeed you, but Urshifu is going to take some damage. Urshifu is going to take some damage. Luxray comes out. That's fine also. You're going to get the Intimidate off? That's that's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. You got two two Pokemon left, including the Urshifu. If you want to both switch me, go ahead. I'm pretty sure I still outspeed. Yeah, I outspeed. Luxray goes down also. We're back at a plus two. And then Urshifu. If Urshifu comes back and sweeps my team, I'm going to be a little bit salty. Just a little bit. All right. We're at plus two. We outspeed the Urshifu. And it's just a matter of can Urshifu live the attack and then just sweep my team. Urshifu. There you go. And it is a single... Oh, it's rapid style. So, um... You're going to... You live this. You, you are going to live this. Stone Edge. You resist it. It, it does over a quarter which i'm happy about I, i've never seen an urshifu like this a uh, rapid style against me so this is this is kind of cool this is kind of cool critical hit i was hit one time and marowak is obviously not the best move for us to go into but um or cinderace at that i think slow bro yeah we're gonna go slow bro try to get a burn on this thing all right, slow bro. If you hit me three times, you're gonna get damaged three times by the Rocky Helmet. So uh, pick your poison. Pick your poison. Slow bro is gonna finish this. Close combat. Okay. We live that. We live that pretty well. We live it really well, to be honest. All right, and then Scald is gonna finish you off. Oh, well, it's not gonna finish you off, but if it burns, it finishes you off. Slow bro just wins it. Slow bro just wins it. That's the bottom line. All right, we won that. Oh my goodness, we got three battles and three wins in a row. That was pretty cool. I consider DC's a win, to be honest, in my book. You should have Dynamaxed a long time ago, my friend. You should have done it a long time ago. And then, uh, oh my goodness, I love Urshifu. Look at this thing. It, it probably won't matter because I'm gonna live whatever attack you throw at me next Rapid flow. I'm living that Look I take that I take that well, I take that like a champ and then skull finishes you off My boys a slow bro made in her shifu blow up My opponent wasn't running the best moves of course, but his team was well balanced he wasn't playing the best, so I'll give him that. Uh, I won't be taking a lead card, unfortunately. I won't be taking a lead card, so just press no. All right, there you have it. We did three battles in one video. That is an achievement for me, and we won all three. So that I'm, I'm really confident on the next video as far as our team goes. And Marowak put in some work. Let me know. Who the most valuable Pokemon of all three battles was? Was it Marowak? Was it Slowbro? Who was it? Cinderace, maybe? Let me know in the comment section down below. As far as who the MVP was and also what your thoughts about the battle were. And also, like this video if you absolutely love my team so far in this battle or just enjoy these battles. And also subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. I will see you guys with another battle on Monday. You guys have a great day. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,